Well, here's another favorite game of mine that was released by Data Age. It's called Encounter at L5. This uses the paddle control. And it's actually quite a neat game. I remember picking this game up uh, back in the early 80s. I found it uh, in a bargain bin at the KB store for a buck. I picked it up on a whim and I was pleasantly surprised about how good this game actually is. It is a lot of fun. Unfortunately, I lost my original edition of this game that I bought when I moved from Indiana to North Carolina. But this week I recently picked it up yet again, so I've got it to play. Let's give it a try. Alright. Well, what's cool about this game is when you push on the paddle controller button, you can move the cursor at the top to change the angle of your fire. When you release, you can move your cannon around to get in another position to start firing again. And something I noticed is that your cannon disappears for a split second after you stop firing, which is kind of neat because they can't actually hit you when you disappear. Oh, until I do that. One of the neat things I liked about this game was the uh, 3D effect it had of the ships flying in from from far away. Ooh. Coming towards you. It's actually a really good game. It's a lot of fun to play. Ooh. One more time. Get that critter. Ah, I got him. <laughs> I didn't really expect much out of this game when I originally picked it up. But once I started playing it, I, I became quickly addicted to it. I don't like that little critter that pops out shooting constantly. Kind of dive bombs you. For a panel game, it's actually kind of cool. <laughs> oh, they got me. Oh, they got me again. Oh, will I break 600? Try for 600. He got me twice. Well, at least I'd be. Oh no, I got one ship. No, I'm dead. Well, at least I broke 600. If I get more information about this game, you can listen to the Atari 2600 Game by Game podcast hosted by Ferg, episode number 27, where he talks about this game and he also talks about Warp Lock, which I really don't care for Warp Lock, so that's not going to be a video. Thanks for watching.